Okay, so so now in in the next uh, video we'll talk about how to solve Schrodinger's equation for a free particle. Well, for not a free particle but a particle in a box, which is something we'll 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 look at soon. Finally, there's one other thing we might uh, we might take a look at, which is uh, let's look at a different way of uh, deriving this uncertainty relation, which is um, in terms of commutators. Okay, so remember that in one of the early um, lectures, we derived a, an uncertainty principle for a qubit, where there were two quantities we were interested in. There was, there was the bit and there was a sign. And the bit corresponded to a, to a measurement in the z basis, right, which was given by 1 minus 1. And sign corresponded to a measurement in the x basis, which was uh, the, the x observable was given by 0, 1, 1, 0. In this case, the eigenvalues were 0 and 1, with eigenval eigenvalues 1 and minus 1. In this case, the eigenvectors were plus and minus, with eigenvalues 1 and minus 1. Now, why was there an uncertainty relation between these two between these two uh, uh, these two quantities, well, the the reason is that these two operators have very different eigenvectors. So, the eigenvectors of the one operator look like this, and the eigenvectors of the other look like this, plus and minus. So these are as far apart as you can expect these basis vectors to be. You, you, you make these basis vectors look as far apart as possible. Another way of saying this is, well, actually these, these two operators have different eigenvectors if and only if they don't commute. So meaning that x times z is not equal to z times x. Okay, so well, what's what's x times z equal to? Well, that's zero one one zero times one minus one zero zero is what uh, is uh, minus one one zero zero. Whereas z times x, which is one minus one zero zero times one one zero zero, is what it's. Uh, 1 minus 1, 0, 0. So another way you can write this is by saying, well, the commutator between x and z, which is defined to be x times z minus z times x, is non-zero. And in this case, x times z minus z times x is this minus that, which is which is that matrix. Okay, so it turns out that there's a very elegant formulation of the uncertainty principle in terms of commutators. So for the um, for position and momentum, um, the uncertainty principle. Well, it turns out that um, this follows fr by looking at the commutator between x hat and p hat, which is x hat p hat minus p hat x hat. It turns out that this is actually i h bar. And now, what we are interested in, of course, is is a is a spread delta x hat, delta p hat. Okay. So it turns out that what you can show is that this is at least. the absolute value of the commutator divided by 2. 
meaning it's at least h bar over 2. Um, yeah, so this this ends up being a uh, you know this is a this is a um, actually this is a more general theorem that the theorem actually says this is true for any two operators uh, that delta a times delta b is at least the commutator between a and b divided by two and so. So if you if you use x hat and p hat for a and b, you get this result. So now let's let's try to understand at least. Um, so I won't I won't prove this for you now. Maybe I'll make up a separate uh, video to to prove this. But let's try to understand at least why the commutator of x hat and p hat is i h bar. Um, this will help us understand how to deal with these operators. So how do you evaluate this this commutator? Well. Uh, what what is what is uh, x hat p hat minus p hat x hat, right? To to evaluate it, we apply it to some some wave function psi x. And what do we get? Well, x hat, you know, this is x hat p hat psi x minus p hat x hat psi of x. Okay, so so what is what is x hat applied to psi of x? It's just x times psi of x. And what's p hat? Well p hat is i h bar d by dx. And what about this? Well this is i h bar d by dx psi of x. And then Whatever this is as a function of x, what happens when you apply x hat to it? Well, you just get x times that, minus. So what's this whole thing? It's i h bar times x d psi by dx minus d by dx of x psi of x. Okay, so remember what d by dx of x psi of x is? This is d by dx of x times psi of x, so it's psi of x, plus x times d by dx of psi of x. Okay, so so you su substitute this in there, you, you cancel, cancel this and this, and so you get i h bar psi of x. So what's the operator? It's just i h bar. Okay, so that's the position momentum uncertainty relation. It says that the spread in, in, in the position times the spread in the momentum is at least the uncertainty in, this, in, the, in the position times the uncertainty in the momentum. The product is at least h bar over 2.